Katie Morgan sanitizing the inside of her empty hair salon. Each day now, a struggle to keep her dream alive. I worked 17 years to build a business, and I'm slowly watching it crumble. This mother of three reopening her claim for unemployment shortly after the state ordered salons like hers to shut back down this month. Morgan could move operations outdoors, but she says the cost of the extra equipment and training are simply far too high. I'm pretty disappointed that I'm in an industry that's being forced to be closed. Um, and there's not really any help that's going to come for us. In March, Congress allocated federal relief for the unemployed, providing an extra $600 per week on top of state jobless benefits. That additional funding ends this weekend, meaning less for struggling families. Demand for our services has grown exponentially. Unemployment assistance programs now bracing for the next surge in demand as federal benefits come to an end. We've seen our numbers increase by 100% since the pandemic started. The Sacramento Food Bank saying it now serves well over 300,000 people a month, double the amount of prior years. The organization now on track to give away 32 million pounds of food this year compared to 28 million pounds last year. We've seen people uh, come to us in recent months who've never had to be in a food line before, and it can be quite a humbling experience. You're welcome here. There's no judgment. The spokesperson adding sustainability is the central focus for the food bank right now as it works to support more people on fewer resources. It's kind of challenging. I miss my clients. They're my family. Meanwhile, the wait continues for an end to state orders and COVID-19. So I just keep watching the news every day at 12 o'clock and wonder when I get to go back to work and be in my second home again. Sentiments shared by countless others during this public health crisis. Reporting from Carmichael, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News.